Well, hey guys, November 30th, it's a Saturday. Hope you guys all had a great week, a great Thanksgiving. Got to spend it with some great family and friends. Um, unfortunately, today is the last day of November. It's uh, always a bittersweet feeling. We've all been grinding all month. Um, but at the same time, we all love November and uh, unfortunately it's come to an end. But that just means late season's right around the corner and I know all of us are, are getting ready, geared up for that. Uh, myself, as far as I go, you know, the public land cameras and everything have been fairly active. And so we'll see what I can get into late season. I need to make a big shift from those scrape type locations, fall locations onto more late season locations, trails going out to food, etc. So we'll definitely be getting out hopefully next week to do some of that and uh, potentially find a late season target. We'll see how that goes. But on my way to film Mike this afternoon, so just thought I'd catch up with you. Um, on today's episode, we're going to join Rye. He's going to take you through a hunt that he had uh, last week out on one of his work for permission farms. He had an awesome hunt, another encounter with that, uh, that good 10 point that he encountered earlier in, uh, in early October. And uh, overall, he's been having some great hunts out there. It's been fun to follow along. Hope you guys enjoy that and uh, have a great week. Well, it's a little before three o'clock and Zeb and I are gonna go get set up where we made the ground hunt uh, a couple weeks ago in the morning. I think this time of year, I don't know, having the decoy out there might give us our best chance to get one in range. They haven't been utilizing this lane. You can see over my shoulder right here quite as much anymore. So uh, hoping that we can get out in that field, spot one the CRP and possibly call them or have them see the decoy. but. We're gonna get out there and hopefully be set up here in the next 15 minutes or so. What do you think? He says it's gonna happen today. Normally I say that, I'll be honest. I uh, don't have the highest uh, hopes for today, but we're out here. You gotta be here to get it done. So we got the show posted, uh, Zach's episode. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. Awesome video, probably one of the best things I've ever edited. I'm really proud of it. So if you care about me, go check it out. So. We'll talk at you when we get over there, I guess. Let's go kill a freaking deer, man. Huh? November 25th, let's go. darn windy I've had to fix the decoy I think four times already yeah four times already and uh, we saw two does off on the far edge I don't know if we got any footage of them it's kind of shaded over there I'm trying to shield the microphone it's so windy so 20 mile an hour northwest it's actually a little more west northwest just waiting for old boy to fall over with that gust that came through but we're overlooking as you can see behind me this whole field the goal is Hopefully this wind dies down a little bit towards dark 
and uh, if we get to lay eyes on the buck, hopefully we can pull him towards the decoy and get a shot. So it's going to be tough to get drawn back. I already know it, but um, I didn't feel like sitting in the same stand we've been hunting on Northwest. I wanted to try something different. And Nate's been on camera fairly fairly recently since the last time we hunted. Uh, once daylight, a couple times close to daylight. And uh, I think we got a realistically a good shot tonight with this high pressure north front. So we also had, uh, I thought it was bullwinkle we got these pictures of, but it was actually another mature buck and just had busted off all his tines. So chance we could see him, short time 10, bullwinkle, whatever else comes through here. So much CRP, late rut, you get deer just trying to find those last does. And I don't know. I'm gonna put my gloves on, put my gator on, and uh, sit here and hope a deer shows up. <laughs> Zeb says we're gonna kill tonight, so that's what he says. We will see if that holds true. Still in the waterway. Don't see the decoy. Careful how much of it. He's gonna do the same thing she did. Hopefully, when he sees the decoy, he just commits. Got a long ways to go.
Well, as you saw in that hunt, we had another encounter with the 10. That's the same deer that we almost got the shot on back in early October. Great looking deer and uh, with the decoy there, if he'd have come in and done it, <laughs> I probably would have sent an arrow that night. So I really think that spot with the ground set up works really well and is probably gonna be a spot that we kind of progressively hunt even through uh, the rest of what we have left the bow season. And then again, once we get to the uh, late muzzleloader time frame, we'll be bow hunting. So um, they're working off the ag that way and I think it's gonna be a good spot. But I think we're gonna transition to the river farm. You know, I mean, that property has a lot of corn on the ground and uh, they're not disking it. So I'm just curious what's gonna show up there. We still have the 10 there with split brows and I mean, He's a deer that I've been four or five on all year. Uh, some pictures you get, he looks a little younger. Some pictures you get, he looks older. And you know, he it's hard to tell. He's got like a really blocky head. So I don't know. I really want to see him in person and make a judgment from there. But he's been pretty active on the farm in the past week. So we're probably going to make a couple sits over there throughout the next couple days. So we have really good conditions right now. It's really cold, west, northwest winds. And that's going to warm up for a little bit. And then we have another cool down towards the end of the week. So. On top of that, next weekend, I can go hunt Illinois. So I got a late muzzleloader tag for Illinois. And in Illinois, if you have a late muzzleloader tag, you can hunt the second shotgun season if you're hunting with a muzzleloader. So two weekends out there, I'm hunting with my good buddy Jeff and Zach's gonna tag along. It'll be a good time nonetheless, even if we don't have anything, you know. Jeff just had one of his main targets show up last night. So uh, hopefully we can get it done, whether I can get it done or Jeff can. So. That's what we have looking forward. Uh, we'll kind of keep you guys updated on a plan. I'm just gonna bounce around and hunt that river farm a little bit. That's where we have food. That's where our best opportunity is gonna be this time of year. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this chase video and we'll catch up with you next week.